Hey everyone and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So as you can see today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a cake that I made for my mum's birthday. This was a couple of weeks ago so this was um, filmed a wee while ago. We didn't really have a lot planned for her birthday so we kind of just had a quiet one. She came over after her work and had some dinner with us. The kids obviously were excited to see her um, and so I thought I would make her a cake something special just because we don't really have we didn't have a lot to do so I thought I'd make her a nice cake um I did decide to make her a Malteser cake Malteser chocolate balls are just amazing um I don't know if they're like malted ball I don't know what you call them but they are just a British sweet um the chocolate on them is absolutely incredible they're so good so they are one of my mum's favorite chocolates so I thought I'd make her like a Malteser cake the recipes that I were looking at online they were like chocolate sponge and my mum's not a fan of chocolate sponge and neither am I or my daughter so I thought I would make more of like a vanilla cake with a vanilla buttercream and then just add sort of Maltesers and the Malteser biscuits and it was really good it was it was perfect my mum really enjoyed it and so did the kids and my husband so that's all that matters um, and then I went on to meet my mum sort of like a taco-y style dinner I don't really know it's like it was corn mince because I am a vegetarian if you didn't know um my husband is not and neither is my mum and my kids but they all really enjoy the corn mince so we thought we'd make um corn mince sort of soft tortilla taco things you'll see at the end um <laughs> and it was really good it was perfect it was a nice dinner and then we went on to have some cake and sort of a cup of tea for dessert which was perfect um so yeah we didn't have a lot planned for her birthday but I thought I would share with you the cake just because I do love to bake and I'm not a perfect baker absolutely not but I love to bake and majority of things taste okay so we'll just go with that and my kids and my husband and my mum really all enjoyed it so yeah I really hope that you enjoy and I'll catch up with you in a little bit Rest, 
So I actually got my KitchenAid for my birthday because I turned 30 this year. Um, and so I got the KitchenAid from my mum and my sister and her partner as my present. And I absolutely love it. I've wanted one for so, so long. But obviously when you're doing icing and stuff, the powder stuff goes everywhere. But I'm sure there is guards and things and attachments I can buy for it. Um, but they are quite expensive. So I am saving up to buy. I'd love to buy the like make your own pasta guard bit that um, you can attach to the front but I'm sure you can get like a shield as well for helping with things like this because as you can see it's just gone absolutely everywhere but it's fine I love to clean so that doesn't matter and um, but obviously yeah you can see I'm making the icing and then I did end up putting this icing just in the fridge for a little while just to keep it sort of firmer while the cake cooled down and everything. Um, I do look a bit of a scruff at the start of this video because I did all this in the morning and then I went to shower before I sort of um, designed or not designed um, decorated the cake and then made the dinner so I am just kind of in my morning clothes still um so yeah that's what I'm doing here and then yeah you'll see me decorate it in a little bit look at these beautiful stars I want to drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me So as you can see, my daughter was decorating the parcels for my mum's birthday presents. I haven't got any wrapping paper, but I did have some of that brown parcel paper. Um, and I've done it a couple of times. I did it with my husband's birthday and I've done it with my father-in-law's birthday. Um, but we wrapped it in brown paper and then I just got the kids to decorate it. Just saw our little picture in front, which I actually think adds a really nice touch. Um, so that was what my daughter was doing. She was decorating. I'm not sure what she was drawing. I was just kind of leaving her to it. Um, the cards were written and I was obviously now showered and I'm just going to start decorating. I didn't really know what I was going to do here. I kind of had, I wanted to try and pipe on it, but I don't have all the right tools. This is something I did say to my husband that I would like to start sort of adding to my baking collection. Um, I need like all the right measurements, like the teaspoon measurements, you know, those little measuring cup things you can get. And then I'd love to get loads of piping stuff and I'd like to... Um, yeah, I just I want to get I want to cut out my baking section because I do love to bake. I just yeah I struggle with what I've got. I do make it work, but it would be quite nice to have a little bit more of a a selection of things to do. So anyway, what I did here was obviously I um, scraped it down and I popped on some of the icing and then I just crushed up some of the Malteser biscuit, put the bag of Maltesers under there. I thought I would do the biscuits, add a little bit more icing around the edge, and then the Maltesers were for the top of the cake. So yeah, that made it taste so much better.
on to making the sauce for the bolognese or the, the corn mince that I was making for the tacos dinner. I don't even think it's, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, this is what I'm calling it. I've shared with you before making this homemade tomato sauce, but I was kind of just using up the veggie that I've got, adding the spices that I have in the cupboard. It's kind of one of those things that you can sort of alter and fix and make it however you want to make it. This is how I made it today and the flavoring and it was really good actually. I was quite happy with how it tasted. Um, so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to cut up and prep all my veg, boil up some carrots and then I will fry off the onion and peppers and some cherry tomatoes and then add the seasonings and the chopped tomato tins and then add in the carrots and it's a really really good way to obviously get as much veg in especially for the kids. The carrots on the side there I left because I obviously grated them later for the toppings but I just was doing all this and like I said I, I like this way because I can get loads of veg in the kids. My son was getting over tonsillitis again, I, d I don't even know how many times we're at now. Um, so it's just trying to get as much veg and goodness in him as possible. So he ate this dinner too, which was really good. And yeah, this is what I'm doing here. So I'm going to start prepping the dinner. I always make such a mess pouring it into here. I really need to think of a better way to do it. But this is me blending down the sauce. This is obviously what I'm doing for the mince and then the rest of the dinner was prepped when my mum was there. So I just filmed this part, popped it back in the pan and then that was pretty much all I managed to film because obviously my mum came over, we spent time with her and we had dinner and ate cake. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have got an idea of a cake that you can maybe try and bake. Super simple recipe, I'll pop it down below in the comments. So if you haven't checked that out, then make sure you go down there and have a look afterwards and this is a sauce like I said you've seen me make it before I'll make it again in those other videos it's a really good way to get loads of veg in and it's a really nutritious dinner as well so I really hope that you enjoyed I hope it's given you some ideas and that yeah it was just nice to make something for my mum my daughter's drawings there I'm not quite sure why she drew a sad face but she did the cake tasted really good as well and yeah Maltesers are the best so if you ever get a chance to try them then make sure you do so thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video Bye.